Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. The long range meta here in Warzone Season 3 is pretty competitive, all things considered. We've got a lot of really solid options spanning across a couple of different weapon categories that can hold their own extremely well. And of course, when it comes to the long range, few options are better at extreme distances than some of our one shot snipers. The cat, for instance, obviously can one shot at any range. It can be 20 meters. It can be 220 meters. If you're hitting a headshot, this thing will put players down. It is a little bit slower, a little bit bulkier, but that's the cost of having a one shot at any distance sniper. So really what we're focused on here is giving ourselves a decent velocity. That way it's going to be easy to predict the bullet lead and the bullet drop. So the nightfall suppressor gives us 15% across the board. The Zang 34 barrel gives us 10%. High velocity ammo, believe it or not, does help out quite a bit with our velocity at 20%. And then beyond that, I just want to make the weapon feel a little bit more aggressive. So I do go for the tack pad stock. This helps out with some general ADS speed. And then just behind the face cam here, I've got the quick bolt. That way I can get my shots off a little bit faster back to back to back. So you got over a thousand velocity with this thing. That means over really any range, you're going to be able to consistently lead for those headshots. It'll be relatively easy to hit those and you'll be knocking players left, right, and center all day, every day. Now the Moors also has the capability to knock at extremely long distances over range. Now you could also build out the Moors to be more of like a mid range, aggressive 70 meter sniper, just like this stalker. And I would consider those more aggressive base snipers and not long range snipers, obviously, since 70, 80 meters would be your cap there. So my focus today, the cat, and the Moors long range really dominating there. And with this more setup here, uh, the keys are going to be really your uh, anti-material slug rounds here, increasing the damage. Then also the ton heavy barrel uh, just makes it a lot easier with the bullet velocity. They're bringing that up some. So that's a good choice. The Emperor long barrel would be good too. You could mess around at the photonic charge one if you really wanted to get crazy. I think it's a little bit more inconsistent to use just because you do have to fully charge it up and some players aren't going to be able to consistently do that. Uh, but Emperor long, ton heavy or photonic Tonic, all would be viable options for a long range sniper build here. I do go for these super light 90 stock speeds up the ADS, the general movement a ton here. Just behind the face cam again, we go ahead and we use the quick bolt to get our uh, shots off faster. Then I also go for the uh, 980 grip. That's an option for a faster ADS speed. You could also use the Razor Hawk laser sight as well. That would help out a decent amount too. So that's just a uh, level of preference. Do you care about a laser showing? Do you like having the laser as like a guider sort of uh, when you're ADSing? Again, preference based, but either way, this is a great long range sniper as well. Now we've talked about this one a lot lately, but the Subverter, this thing goes crazy in the mid to long range. It's got a phenomenal phenomenal TTK. It's incredibly easy to use as well. It's one of my personal favorites this season, without a doubt. Really just focusing on control with this setup here, making it as easy as possible. Cassis Break's going to attack that horizontal recoil, make that a lot more predictable. Ruin Heavy Support, even after the nerf, also attacking that horizontal recoil, adds in some firing aim stability and idle sway benefits as well, so just making the gun a lot more predictable. Those are 90 long barrels doing it all. Range, velocity, control, firing aim stability, again, really increasing that efficiency in the mid to long range. 50 round extended mag, and then I go for the heavy stock on here. Just because this thing's got such clean iron sights, I can use this at long ranges and still feel very accurate. If you wanted to use, you know, a 3.4 times optic and 2.5 times optic, anything like that, uh, you know, I'd probably recommend switching out either the stock or the under barrel, whatever one you feel like you don't need on there. Uh, that's what I would switch out for that. But personally, with these irons, I feel like you got to take advantage of how easy you can make this thing. Now, the SVA 545 is still doing it so well here in season three. It's just kind of a do it all rifle. It is so reliable. If you want to use it in hyperburst or full auto, conveniently enough, I'd be using the same exact setup. And it just comes down to how you want the gun to feel. Full auto, it's obviously got more recoil, but it's still very easy. And it's a lot uh, more reliable to use just for spraying and praying. Hyperburst has no recoil, but you have to be good at spamming your trigger and staying on target at the same time. But either way you want to go about it, this setup works well. We got the Spirit Fire Suppressor, obviously extending our range, our velocity, and giving us a little bit of control and keeping us off the map. We got the Precision Barrel, better range, velocity, control, and idle sway benefits there too. Ruin Heavy Support yet again. 60 round extended mag, very basic. And then I go for the 2.5 times Eagle Eye Optic. By far my favorite optic of choice for any mid to long range engagements. Nice and clean picture there or scope there. Like I said, this thing, it's just old reliable. Now the Holger 556 does have a really solid TTK across the board. It's especially good in the mid range, but over long range within the rifle category, it can hold its own very well. The plus side of this thing is just how easy it is to use. There's like no recoil on this thing. The downside of this thing is that the 40 round mag extended mag is your maximum option here. There is no 50, no 60. So the damage per mag is not great. That to me is a bit of a drawback for sure. And something very noticeable in game. 
But with how accurate this thing is, you can still get by with using this in pretty much any, uh, you know, squad mode, solos, duos, trios, quads. Uh, and you because you're going to be putting shots on target so easily and so efficiently, the ammo is very valuable here, uh, if that makes any sense. I got the glassless optic on here. I really do like this for all ranges as well. Plus, it gives you firing aim stability, which is a nice added bonus. Cryo 6 match barrel is better range, better velocity, better control, better pizza, Papa John's. Been a minute since we've mentioned it, but it's always there. We got the angled under barrel on here. Helps out with horizontal control and a little bit of gun kick, although it's not all that much. But it doesn't hurt your ADS speed at all. And then I like the spirit fire suppressor on here as well, just for the better range, velocity, and control. 819 for our velo is not all that crazy, but it's sufficient enough for the long range. And this thing, like I said, is a laser beam. And by the way, as we're running through all the long range metas here today, if you guys are new to the channel or if you simply have not subscribed yet, this is your one-stop shop for all things going on in COD on a daily basis. News, updates, patch notes, meta breakdowns, it's all right here, so feel free to hit that sub button. And if you enjoyed this one or if you find it helpful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. It's always really appreciated. Next up, we got one of my favorite weapons in the game right now, the BP-50. This thing is so versatile. It's actually got the best TTK in the rifle category over the long range, which is really nice as well. There's a couple of different setups I've been running with this. So this is my first base one. Uh, it's got the Spirit Fire Suppressor, very basic. Lower 9 Heavy Barrel, better range, better velocity, better control, better firing aim stability. MK3 Reflector Sight, Glassless would work here too. Uh, 2.5 times would work, honestly. Mode 40 Stock helps out with some gun kick, uh, but also some better movement as well. So kind of the best of both worlds. And I go for the 45 round next Cinemag. That all works really, really good. You could also go for an Iron Sight build that's even more aggressive, though. Drop the Reflector Sight. I like to put on the DR6 Hand Stop, then I put on the Cassis Break as well. And this is low recoil, Iron Sights, and super aggressive. So either or works great here. This thing is a super dominant rifle. Now, yes, the Ram was nerfed pretty severely for its close to mid-range with Season 3. But over the long range, if you're comparing rifles, it's still one that's capable of holding its own. We're all very familiar with it at this point, too. So we know how the recoil works. We're going to be accurate with it. So while it's not some crazy number one outlier anymore the ram is still a viable option for the mid to long range setup is not really going to have changed all that much though we got the cassis break as always to attack that horizontal control core mark 40 heavy barrel idle sway velocity control range all the usual stuff there for a long barrel ruin heavy support per usual the 60 round extendamag i still like the clean iron sights so i go for the 3.4 pad stock just helps make the gun even more accurate there so you're gonna land your shots with this thing its damage is not you know absolutely absurd like it once was but it still is able to compete just fine. Hey everyone, wanted to take a quick second and chat about my friends over at G Fuel. If you're looking to stay focused, energized, or just hydrated, they've got you covered all around with their normal tubs, their hydration tubs, and their cans. A couple of my personal favorites at the moment gotta be Sage Mode Hydration, Watermelon Mint, and also Starfruit. Now, if you're looking to try G Fuel for the first time, they got sample packs. Those are perfect for just finding out which flavors you prefer. And then once you're set there, grab a full on tub and restock on your favorites. And whenever you're looking to pick up, if you throw in code immortal at checkout, you'll get yourself a nice little discount. The link for that will be down in the description below if you're interested. The Bruin is still going crazy as well. We've known that the Bruin has been a top go to long range option for some time now. And even here in season three, it's still performing very, very nicely. Quick TTK also very easy to use and pretty aggressive for an LMG as well. We got the Spirit Fire Suppressor on here per usual, Bruin Heavy Support as well. I go for the Horizon Barrel for the long range, primarily because it's helping out with that control. The effective damage range benefits here are not really a huge deal since we're not getting those, but better velo, better control is going to make this gun even better in the long range to begin with. We do downgrade to that 60 round Extendamag as opposed to the base 100. I just like the feel of this a lot more than the 2.5 times Eagle Eye Optic. Nothing out of the ordinary there. But the Bruin is far from being the only competitive LMG. The DG58 is also right up there as well. Incredibly low recoil and an incredibly good TTK over the long range. That's like the best of both worlds right there. It's going to be a very similar setup, though. We got the Spirit Fire Suppressor, Bruin Heavy Support, the Woody Long Barrel in this case, which is range, velocity, control, and added idle sway as well. 2.5 times optic. And then just to add some versatility to this gun, it's already so easy to use that I actually go for some mobility here with the uh, CQC butt plate just to make it a little bit more aggressive across the board. Good strafe speed, good ADS speed. Nice added level uh, that you don't really get with some other LMGs because you got to use control based attachments so i really do like the feel of this thing a lot the holger 26 is also phenomenal over range once again very easy to use very low recoil and it's super super competitive in terms of ttk when you compare it to other lmgs and a lot of these other long range meta options that we've got here today as well again we got the spirit fire and the bruin even though these were nerfed they're still great attachments the holger factory barrel in this case is our long barrel helps out with range velocity and control unfortunately not much going on in the way of idle sway or firing aim stability but We've got the Ascent Lord stock, which actually makes up for that. 
better idle sway better control better gun kit control better firing aim stability we also got the 2.5 times eagle eye yet again because no one saw that one coming now when i say i got you guys covered with the latest metas i mean i got you because we were on the wrap before season three and now it's even better here in season three this thing actually has a better ttk than a lot of those other aforementioned lmgs it's also ridiculously low recoil is an mw2 gun this thing is a lot slower than those other options so take that into consideration but if you're just looking for sheer power this thing's got you covered so i am going for spirit fire suppressor i do like to up that velo that range that control as well all the benefits there per usual are going to be super clutch in this case i go for the angled under barrel here it's still going to do that horizontal control it's not going to slow my ads down anymore like a bruin heavy would though it's already so slow if i don't have to make it slower i'd like to not i also go for the high grain rounds here mainly because yes we're getting better velo and uh, range out of this which is nice but all these other mw2 attachments like the barrels and the stocks and the rear grips kill your idle sway which is not good so we don't go for those i do use the 100 round extended mag even just the default mag runs out of ammo super quick with this fire rate uh so 100 is a nice added safety net i don't have to reload super slowly as often uh, then the 2.5 times eagle eye yet again surprise surprise and then lastly here the mcw 6.8 marksman still putting in the work over the long range uh by far the most difficult weapon to use out of this entire list just because it is semi-auto you have to be deadly accurate for this to have a fast ttk but if you are deadly accurate you will put players down incredibly quick uh plus this thing as opposed to some of the other marksmen's has a 60 round drum this ammo capacity is great it's sniper ammo so you're going to be super limited with what you can have to begin with so if you can have a crazy extended mag as opposed to you know 15 20 30 like some other options this is such a huge advantage 2.5 times eagle eye on here the assault stock is going to help out with just some general control so when i am spamming this it's got a decent fire rate it's going to still be easy to use ruin heavy support here i really just care about the firing aim stability the idle sway benefits it's going to make this a lot uh better when i am spamming with recentering and just the general stability there and i do go for spirit fire suppressor again extending that range that velocity that control a little bit as well so definitely a higher skill gap weapon but also so so good in the right hands and that being said that's how the current long range meta plays out you got a lot of really good options across the board you can't go wrong with any of these a lot of it really just comes down to which weapons you're the most comfortable with but if you enjoyed the video do me a favor and drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel you want to guarantee you're always up to date with all things going on in cod be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you later peace out